ISTQB Foundation Level Question 113. System test execution on a project is planned for 8 weeks. After a week of testing, a tester suggests that the test objective stated in the test plan of finding as many defects as possible during system testing might be more closely met by redirecting the test efforts according to which test principle? A. Impossibility of exhaustive testing B. Importance of early testing C. The absence of defects fallacy D. Defect clustering together Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed enhancing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ICQB questions on a regular basis. Correct answer is D, according to the test principle 4 in the ICQB syllabus. This principle suggests that defects tend to cluster together in specific areas or modules. If after a week of testing the tester observes a concentration of defects in certain components or modules, redirecting the test effort to focus more on those areas is in line with the principle of defect clustering. All the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer A is wrong because this principle does not directly guide the tester on where to focus the testing efforts based on observed defects. While it is true that exhaustive testing is impossible according to testing principle 2. Answer B is wrong because this principle emphasizes the need to begin testing early in a project according to testing principle 3, but does not provide guidance on redirecting testing efforts based on defects found. In addition, testing has already begun and this principle does not apply here. Answer C is wrong because this principle highlights that testing cannot prove the absence of defects according to testing principle 7, but it does not guide the tester on where to focus efforts based on defects found. My recommendation. Please figure out all testing principles with examples to understand the meaning of each of the principles. Explanation. At last, let's look at the section 1.3, testing principles in the ICQB syllabus, where we can see that the testing principle 4 is defects cluster together. A small number of system components usually contain most of the defects discovered or are responsible for most of the operational failures. This phenomenon is an illustration of the Pareto principle. Predicted defects clusters and actual defects clusters observed during testing or in operation are an important input for risk-based testing. This leads us to the correct answer D. I look forward to your success 
which might happen overnight. And you will pass the ISTPB Certified Tester Foundation level exam thanks to my videos for absolutely free. Never give up.